Tommy, speaking ahead of our clash on live TV against Rochdale this weekend, what are your thoughts ahead of this one? Well, hopefully we can perform better than we did the last time we were on uh, TV, which was against Boreham Wood. Um, that wasn't a favourable result. But in general, last season when we went in front of the cameras, we tended to, you know, to turn up. But it's it's inconsequential whether there's extra TV cameras there or not. As far as we're concerned, it's a, the next opposition visiting the EBB. Um, usually, we've turned up against anybody. So Rochdale have had a good start themselves. Um, they've done particularly well in the, the rear end of the the pitch, but they still score goals. Um, and we've, as everybody keeps telling me, we we you know we free score or we have done for quite some time now. So it should be a good a good matchup. You say there, you know, the, the TV cameras don't make too much of a difference. The late kickoff time as well, I'm, I'm sure that doesn't make too much a difference either. But, you know, is there a case for saying that that does maybe mess a little bit with the routine or change things a little bit? Only slightly. I mean, it's only a couple of hours. What, what will do, everybody will be interested or looking at their, their, the clubs they support, the support and know how they're getting on, where their mates are playing and stuff like that. But it's not a massive amount of, of change. We've knocked our training back off an hour on the Thursday and the Friday, but... Will it make much difference? The scientists tell me it does, but uh, the proof of the pudding's in the eating. Um, it's still Saturday and still game day, so you know we've, we've prepared as we would normally have done without a midweek game. We've had a really good uh, week on the training ground. We've managed to get a couple of the lads who've been in the in the physio room for a little while back on the pitch. So yeah, it's really positive our end, and uh, we're just looking forward to getting the game on. And another home game, which is you know where we've been more informed this season, and yeah. certainly entertaining games for the neutral, which is probably tempting fate there, and may, might be now a, a boring game as the TV cameras are coming. But no, good form at home, and, and that's something we're looking to, con- to continue with, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, every manager will stand here and tell you they've got to make you've got to make your home, your, you know, the, the bread and butter of where you take the vast majority of points. But at the ratio we're going at the moment, exactly, if we were to do what we're doing, I'd be really pleased come come the end of April. So. Um, you know, if you can pick points, every point in this division, particularly early on in the season, is really precious. And whether you take one like we did against Forest Green or three like we did against Oldham or away at Halifax, you know, that makes up if you, if you do lose a game. Because nobody's going to go through the season not losing games. It's, it's in the rules that you can lose. It's how you lose. And, um, you know, that's, that's a word and, a, and a, a, an outcome we don't want to concentrate on. We want to be positive if we can because we've got two tough, tough road trips the following week. And everybody will look at the table, which I won't be, but they'll be telling me that the two teams we're, we're going to play are, are nearer the bottom of it than the top of it. But like I said, at this stage of the season, everybody's finding their feet, um, us included. Um, and hopefully we can uh, hit the ground running on Saturday. And now I know as we speak now, they're currently training out there next to us. And, and we, they had a day off yesterday, didn't they? But how has training been this week? All good? Very good. Like I said, when we haven't got a midweek game, uh, it tends to be a real good training week, you know, and, and the fact that we've got a couple of more people or bodies back on the on the training ground because they've missed a couple of weeks is really, really positive from my point of view. It makes my choices a little harder, but that's how I want it as a manager. I want people pushing each other. Um, so, yeah, it, it's it's one of them. It's, it's a very, you know, when you when you play Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, which we will be doing for the next four or five weeks after this Saturday, um, you sort of you molly coddle them a little bit, and you sort of just you know get them from game to training session to game to training session. It's a very different mindset. It's a very tr- different training program, um, and you just hope that everybody's going to get through unscathed. So going into the period we've got coming up, I'm really really pleased. We've still got I think four in the room with Liam, but three of them are running now. So there's probably only going to be one or two left in there come this time next week with a bit of luck. So a few headaches maybe for the team yeah. selection coming up, but. As we always say, only a good thing. Yeah, massively. Listen, we've not we've not done with uh, Aaron Jones now for how long? A month of this season, about three months or four months of last season. But we've we've seamlessly filled his role, whether it be Tyler Frost or whether it be uh, Ashley Akpan, Mash, uh, Maxwell Mullins. I've got plenty of options in all different areas. And if I look around, the, there's not every, any area on the pitch that I think, well, if he can't play, he'll play. And I would, I would be nonplussed as to either one of them who play not because I like one of them more than the other one it's just I know they both can do a particular job for us so I'm in a good place myself mentally physically running in as I can three times a week um, the lads are doing a lot more running than I and and hopefully they can keep doing it to positive effect